But first from Fox this Friday night, chemical weapons on the move in Syria. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta now confirms new intelligence shows movement at some of that country's suspected chemical weapon sites. Troublesome because Syria's leader, Bashar al-Assad, has repeatedly proved he's willing to murder innocent civilians. And activists say 30,000 people have died during the uprising over the last year and a half. But Secretary Panetta says in this case, it looks as if the Syrians are just shifting the chemical weapons to better secure them. And he does not note any evidence that the regime is preparing to actually deploy those weapons. While there's been some limited movement, uh, again, the major sites uh, still remain in place, uh, still remain secure. We hope he's right. Last month, President Obama said his administration make, made clear to the Syrian regime that if we start seeing a government moving around, quote, a whole bunch of weapons, that would be a red line. So far, there is no word from the White House about whether this latest movement means Syria has crossed that red line. But the White House is taking other steps, we know that, to target the Syrian regime. In fact, today, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton attended a meeting at the United Nations and pledged another $45 million to help the opposition in Syria, those rebels who are trying to force out their brutal and bloody leader. It's Fox Top Story, and Jonathan Hunt is in it, on it live at the United Nations tonight. Do we have any indication of what those rebels who are opposing the regime plan to do with that money? Well, what we're told by Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who was at this Friends of Syria meeting that took place on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly, is that 15 million of the total 45 million will go towards communications equipment for the rebels, something that the U.S. has previously funded. The other 30 million, according to Secretary of State Clinton, will go towards humanitarian aid. Listen. As more parts of Syria's uh, control slips from the regime to the opposition, we're supporting civilian opposition groups as they begin providing essential services, reopening schools, rebuilding homes, and the other necessities of life. Of course, what the opposition really wants is action from the United Nations Security Council. But absent still the support of Russia and China, that, quite simply, Shep, is not going to happen. Jo Jonathan, what more do we know about the movement of these chemical weapons in Syria? Well, U.S. officials appear to know very little, and that may be part of the problem. Because quite simply, Shep, while Secretary Panetta said that these chemical weapons have been moved, they don't know exactly who has had access to them. Listen to this. As to, uh, you know, uh, the movement of some of these, uh, uh, these materials and uh, what, uh, you know, whether or not they've been exposed to, uh, uh, to possession by, by the opposition or others, uh, that's, a, that's something we, I, I really don't have any firm information to uh, confirm that that's taken place. Secretary of Panetta saying he does not know whether the opposition has got possession of those chemical weapons. Remember, he and other U.S. officials have previously said that among that opposition are al-Qaeda elements. Shep. Jonathan Hunt, live at the United Nations. Well, President Obama and Governor Romney are set to face off next week in the...